Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into the brand new Twinmotion 2024.1.1 update. And trust me, it's loaded with some really exciting features. Whether you're looking to enhance your scenes with realistic vegetation, bring your projects to life with dynamic wind effects, or fine tune your camera work, this update has something for everyone. We've got 186 new photorealistic trees, advanced wind animations for fabrics and foliage, and a bunch of new tools to give you even more control over your workflow. So stick around, I'll guide you through all the new features and show you how you can take your workflow to the next level. Let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off by going through the 2024.1.1 release notes. So down below here we have the hardware and software specifications. And then we have what's new in 2024.1.1. So we've got the wind for fabric material, added a wind parameter in the fabric material that simulates wind animation on draped fabric such as curtains, improved wind for foliage material, improved the animation of the wind on the foliage material, which that's quite cool, randomized UV, so they've added a randomized UV perimeter on selected materials which randomizes UV tiling to break the repetition of a material. Camera roll adjustments for images, which I'll show you throughout this video. We've got precise editing and sequences, which I'll make a separate video about, about the sequences, but I'll also show you a brief breakdown of, of what's in the update. We have enhanced match sun to HDRI feature. So that's pretty straightforward there and self-explanatory. There are limitations on the HDRI feature, which is below. Moving on to performance statistics. So there's a new statistics panel, which um, I'll show you throughout this video. And then we have the new trees in the Twin Motion Library. So there's a collection of 62 photorealistic growable tree species that have been added to the Twin Motion Cloud Library. So that's pretty awesome, and I can't wait to show you that. And then we also have a limitation so the new trees are not supported by the Twin Motion Cloud until further notice. So we'll just have to wait for an update for that. And then we have all the bugs fixed in 2024.1.1 which you can go through and have a look there. Then we have known bugs and limitations affecting 2024.1.1. So those are all the bugs that are still affecting 2024.1.1. And now we are gonna move on to opening Twinmotion. So just open the Epic Games Launcher and I've got launch, but you'll have install there or update and then below we have the drop down which has all the other twin motion versions um, prior to this so yeah let's move on and get started i have this twin motion interior scene set up for the wind for fabric material uh, i have on the left hand side these purple curtains um, which we will go to and i'll show you so i've just applied this pink material but we're going to go and change that so just up in the search bar we're going to go and look for a fabric material or under materials you'll find fabrics so under materials we'll go fabric and then i'm just going to place a cotton plain thin so the thin is a transparent material I'll just apply that to both of my curtains. Once that's been applied, I'll scroll down on the right hand side. Under misc, you have wind. Just enable that. Once that's enabled, the wind is based off of the under the ambient settings. You've got weather conditions and then you can change the wind speed and wind direction. This is going to make things a lot easier than having to import animated FBXs or something like that. So it's just a material and the material is applied and then it has a wind um, function which 
it was pretty awesome so that's going to be a big up for interior design you could even use it for flags and other things like that i'm guessing so yeah we'll move on to the next part so for this next one the improved wind on the foliage material so these are some new trees from the twin motion 2024.1.1 update on the right hand side after selecting the tree we have wind and then we have a new function called sway so when you enable that or disable that you can see the sway in the trees which will add more realism to your project so turning the wind on and off just enables the wind effect on the leaves and then turning the sway on and off will affect the sway so you can also go to the weather conditions and you have wind speed and wind direction so when you adjust that the sway increases in the trees to add more realism Going to turn the sway off you can see the difference I'm going to move on to download a tree from the sketchfab library I'm just going to place that tree I'm going to apply the foliage twin motion material so I'm just going to go down to materials select a little tab, select foliage, and then I've got a foliage material. I'm just gonna apply that to all the leaves. Once I have applied that to all the leaves, I can scroll down to misc, and then you also have sway and wind on leaves as well. So you can import custom trees and change that. You can also change out the texture map so you can apply your own textures to that and along with the foliage material it adds a lot of realism. Moving on to randomize UV function. So this is a really cool one. We've got three planes here each with a different material. This first one's like a grass material. So you can see all the repetition, all the lines in, on the plane there. So we're just going to select that material. And then on the right hand side there, we're just going to scroll down to randomize UV. Just click that. And once we've clicked that, you can see that those lines are all gone and it's been all randomized and it looks amazing. Moving on to the next one, I'm going to demonstrate one with the rock. You can see all the rock there. It's really repetitive. Just push that button again and it's all gone. Let's move on to the next one. I've got another one here. And it's the same with this. It works mainly with kind of natural surfaces um, like ground, rock, grass, stuff like that. But when it comes to other things, it's a little bit tricky, but yeah, it still works. So I'm just going to select that. And then I'm just going to go to randomize UV. And boom. See that? It's all gone. It's changed. It makes a major difference and it just adds a little bit more realism to your projects. It doesn't make, you know, people pick up on things that are repetitive, so having things to randomize that will make it less eye-catching. So just going to move on to the camera roll adjustment for images. I'm just going to see an image size here on the right hand side under format. And then I'm just going to update my image and adjust the focal length. Okay, so on the right hand side we have image and then we have a new tab there called image with roll angle. So you can click that and adjust that 
you know left to right i'm not 100 percent sure what i'll use this for yet but i'll find a use for it eventually um the more i do this the more it makes me feel sick so yeah moving on to the precise editing and sequences so i'm just going to keep this brief um, and we'll do another video about the sequencer but they've added the option to hold control and scroll in on your track so you can zoom in on on your track to to refine your sequences they have also adjusted the handle which you can move and scroll here and there are some other features that have been updated as well but yeah i'm going to do a separate video on the sequencer so moving on here we have the performance statistics so down the bottom left here we have in this statistics panel and here we have a just a setup scene here with max lumen settings uh, it's quite a complicated scene so it's stressing my computer out quite a bit just so i can show you these st statistics down here so down the bottom left you can click stats once you've clicked that, you've got this panel here, you've got quality setup, which just brings up the settings. You've got the FPS, which is showing bad. GPU RAM, 71%. GPU, maxed out. CPU, 4%. Then we have triangles, textures, and meshes. Then we have lights. It's the amount of lights in your scene amount of objects in your scene and the amount of materials in your scene and then the available memory left so this is just a quite a good indicator on the performance statistics and it gives you a good example on the amount of textures and meshes you have in your scene the amount of lights and objects and stuff like that so yeah this performance statistics panel is quite good new trees in the twin motion library so this is an awesome one there's 186 new trees in the twin motion library that's including the different age of those species so i've got all of these trees here i've just started to download a few i've only used a couple it's awesome to see some oceanic trees in here i've been waiting for that for a long time uh, so we've got kanuka and then we also have some New Zealand ferns as well. So you can adjust that slider and then you can see that it changes the age of those trees. And then you also have the seasons as well. So these trees are fully customizable and they look bloody good. A big improvement to the Twin Motion vegetation library, that's for sure. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with with all the new vegetation and the Twin Motion update. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, remember to check in the comments below the favorite feature of the Twin Motion 2024.1.1 update. It'd be great to see what you guys think. And to all my new subscribers out there and my existing subscribers, thanks heaps. You guys are the bomb. Uh, you're continuing to grow this channel and push my content out there. So thank you heaps. And yeah, we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.